from wild January 7th, hey boys. to mild. Every winter has its own personality. And when it comes to this upcoming season, with La Nina conditions in place, it looks like Eastern Canada is in store for a similar winter to 2007 and 2008, which was a winter to remember or forget. So let me refresh your memory. Really slow and really slippery and really dangerous. In early December 2007, before the season even officially began, drivers and pedestrians alike were dodging storms, dropping heavy snow and mixed precipitation from Ontario to Quebec to the Maritimes. Just look at these snow totals from 2007 to 2008. Several cities hit over 500 centimeters, including Quebec City and Bathurst, New Brunswick, breaking all-time records, with Toronto, Montreal and Ottawa not far from making snowfall history with Halifax reaching above average levels too. An expensive year for snow removal and the weight of all that snow proved too much for the roof of a warehouse in Morin Heights, Quebec. Three women were killed in the collapse. That winter was also characterized, as is the case for many La Nina winters, with extreme temperature swings. Pretty messy. Not pretty. Not pretty, no. <laughs> Milder conditions brought on a thaw and bouts of heavy rain causing waterways to rise and quicken. You're sweating. Yeah, it's warm out here. <laughs> and for a period in early January, runners were out in shorts when record warmth hit southern Ontario, soon to be replaced by another blast of Arctic air and, yes, more snow, with several more storms dropping flakes well into March. But no two winters are alike, and we'll be watching this year's version closely for these same characteristics. I'm getting a little tired of it. With a good chance, you'll echo those sentiments by spring, too. I'm meteorologist Ross Hall.